Fine weather and a great turnout of cars for round one of the 2018 Victorian sports sedan season at Sandown last weekend. The championship received a welcome last minute boost with the news of a new sponsor for the opening two rounds. We've got Grunt Performance have come on board for round one and possibly round two at this stage. Um, Liam and Steph run a, a family owned business down in Langwarren and they specialise in race car preparation but uh, construction and, and all your race car needs really. Um, they do a great job and they, they come to the track with track support and, and run a few IPR cars and um, yeah, they do a really good job down there. We really see a lot of potential in the class, it's been fantastic so far but there's so much more that the category could be doing and we think we'd love to be part of it. Um, we currently run a car in the championship on and off um, but it's something that we can see endless potential and want to get behind it. Uh, Grunt Performance is a business that's based around the client. So what we try to do is offer a complete service to our clients, whether that be from people getting into the sport, from organising private OLTs, coaching, driving, right the way through to building cars from scratch, preparing and maintaining cars um, and everything in between. So there's not much we outsource at all. Um, we try to keep everything in-house for multiple reasons. One, for uh, quality assurance and two time frames. We understand that uh, race meets don't wait for people, so we have to make sure that we can adhere to those time frames. So do you think that's the future of the sport at this level and every level, sort of that arrive and drive concept where people put the preparation and the day-to-day -day running of the team in your hands and they just turn up and enjoy themselves? Um, I think there's definitely a place for it, for the fact that a lot of our clients are particularly busy in their lives and for them to prioritise working on a car over running their business or having family time, it's not really right. So we've found that for our clients, not all clients, um, the arrive and drive side of things is very, very useful for them. And also for us, it puts complete accountability on us. So if there is something, we know it's, we know we have to rectify it. So, and we know the car's inside out. Um, and it really does give our clients the ability to live their lives and then come and do this on the weekend. So, yeah, there's definitely a place for it nowadays. So what is it about the sports today in categories that appeals to you in particular? Um, from a car builder's point of view, there's so much freedoms um, compared to other classes. You can really build a car to suit the client. The car almost ends up with a personality, and that personality can match the client. Um, so. And from a car builder's point of view, it's really exciting because there's so many freedoms. We can have a left field idea and then put that into play. Um, so from my point of view, I really enjoy the category. And also for the clients as well, they find they get a lot out of the fact that they can really build a car around what they want rather than being stuck to hard and fast rules. Numbers were well up on the corresponding meeting last year and organisers are confident that from here, things will only get even better. Uh, so this year we've got five rounds, including the 50k plate at Phillip Island at the end of the round. It's a, the big deal closer. Um, and we're here at round one at Sandown. Um, and we've got a, a really good turnout. We've got 28 cars on the grid uh, for race one this afternoon. Well, this year we've got, um, we've got the Victorian Touring Car guys that have come along and so they've got three cars on the grid with us. The two leader guys are actually racing with us this weekend as well um, and they've brought a couple of their Pulsar mates along. We've got Rick Newman in the New Line uh, car that's come along and he's, he's going really well. Dean Cam's back, Chaz is back. So we've got a few, a few cars back and we've got even more getting built this year. Uh, I spoke to Liam earlier in the year and um, he said there's probably about eight cars in construction at the moment. Maybe four, maybe five will be finished this year. So if people are interested in sports sedans, I mean, if, for people who don't know what a sports sedan explain what a sports sedan is. Well, a sports sedan is anything from a, a factory floor pan car, which is our production sports sedans range, um, which essentially is your modified road car, sprint car, that you want to put some slicks on and put some big wheels and... and um, and uh, wings and that sort of thing, uh, right through to like Chaz's um, space frame chassis car. So there's engine ranges from two litre, under two litre, sorry, to two litre to four litre and four litre to six litre engines. Uh, and, the, and in between that, you've got anything from a, a rotary turbo, naturally aspirated rotaries, V6s, turbo V6s, V8s, you know, right, right through. So it's a, it's a really open class with really open rules that you can, can build what you like within the rules and run it and um, you know and you you will find competition somewhere so if people out there are interested in sports dance and becoming a member of the Australian Sports Dan Association do you have to uh, own a sports sedan to get involved how do people get involved and what are the criteria to join no you don't have to own a sports sedan to get involved um, you can become a social member which is just on our website 
uh, as a vehicle or our Facebook page, which is the, the Grunt Performance Victorian Sports Sedans. Um, you can you can sign up to become a social member, which will get you included in uh, in all of our newsletters, all of our magazine printouts. You'll be up to date with what the club's doing, where we're running, and who's running what. Um, or you can become a competition member if you own a sports sedan and you want to come out and race. And, and it, within the club, we've got plenty of help and plenty of knowledgeable people that are more than happy to help get older cars or new cars on the grid. Okay, so if people want to find out more about sports sedans, where do they go on the web? Uh, you can head to ASA Vic for the, just search ASA Vic, A-S-S-A Vic for the web page, or uh, Facebook's another good one for the Grunt Performance Victorian Sports Sedans. Race one on Saturday afternoon saw an all the way victory to Dean Cam in the Trans Am Corvette. But the fight for second was hard fought all the way between the ex supercars of Rick Newman and Paul Panissi. Panissi was fast in the twisty bits, but on the long straights at Sandown, the six litre engine of the Ford was just too powerful. Chaz Talbot had a good debut in his new toy, the Camaro finishing in fourth place. Lee Partridge won the two-litre class in his Mazda RX-7 and Danny Timewell won the Victorian Touring Car Championship class. Sunday saw Dean Cam romp away into the lead again after Newman bogged down at the start line. Rand McClurkin retired the V8 Nissan early with clutch problems while Lee Partridge was also out in the under two-litre Mazda. The Corvette had made a big break out in front but on lap five Cam went missing, bogged in the turn one gravel. This left Newman's Falcon to take the win from Panisi with Talbot third in the Camaro. Steve Howard's Toyota Corolla won the under two litre class. As the cars rolled around for the 10 lap feature race, Newman was on pole but Cam was nowhere to be seen. Oh no, there he is! Heading back to the pits behind the recovery vehicle. An unfortunate end to a weekend that had started just so very well. With Cam gone, Newman raced to an early lead, with Talbot getting the jump on Panisi for second position. Panisi fought his way past the Camaro on lap two, but by that stage Newman was well gone. Bob Gill made it back on track for the third race after he damaged his Falcon in Saturday morning's qualifying session. And Daniel Timewell's Commodore had a great battle with Vin Sten's R32 Skyline and the RX-7 of Warren Cleland. The only real incident of the race came with a harmless spin at Turn 1 from the Nissan Pulsar of Gavin Reynolds. Newman was dominant in the final and took a comfortable win from Panessi with Talbot back in third. Steve Howard won the under 2 litre class from Sam Spears Alpha, while Matthew Firmino came out in top in the fight between the Nissan Pulsars. But it was a great weekend for Newman, who leaves Sandown in the championship lead. Different category to racing compared to IP, which is um, actually refreshing. Uh, some good competitive racing, fast racing, something I'm not used to. Um, but the car's running well. Boys at Ravage Raceworks have put it, put it together just magnificently. Um, so yeah, I've, only the second time I've driven the car. So it's got a fair bit, of, fair bit of potential that I've got to try and find. It's not the car, it's the driver. But no, really good weekend. So tell us about the car. It, uh, it, it's not the improved production car. This is a car with a bit of a history. Yes, it's um, a Briggs Motorsport chassis. It's actually a supercar. It was an AU, one of the Longhurst uh, cars, the number 65. It ran as a better electrical car for a while. Uh, then ended up in the hands of um, Jason Heck, who ran it Queensland, but it got shunted. Uh, I think it was 04 it got a shunt. Uh, so it got a life transformed from an AU to a BF. The boys over at Riverside Racing did that. And um, yeah, we found it as a rolling shell and spent the last couple of years putting it together. And uh, yeah, we, we did Bathurst combined sedans at the start of the year. And of all places to, to, to do it, it was a bit of a baptism of fire. We found Griffin's Bend at 120 k's into the wall, which wasn't too, too flush, but ironed out that power steering issue. And here we are having a bit of fun. So tell us about the engine. It's not a V8 supercar engine, is it? No, we um, put the we put an ash car motor in the AU back uh, a year and a half ago and did time attack at Sydney. Uh, Dean Lilly drove it back then and we got about as much potential as we could out of it. It was an ash car engine with a shot of nitrous, making about a thousand horsepower. And um, I had a bit of a pedal as well, but too much for me. Uh, <laughs> dial it back a bit, it was a bit more fun. Uh, um, yeah, and we run it uh, combined sedans last year as the AU. And then um, Lake Mountain Sprint back in March, they got my uh, abilities and aspirations a bit mixed up on the on the shakedown uh, course and backed it into the arm car and set it on fire. 
Uh, so it's sitting at the panel shop feeling a bit sore and sorry for itself. So we took the engine and running gear out of that and put it into this one and that's where she stands. That's NASCAR motor supercar. So six litres? Six litre, six speed sequential Hollinger. Um, all the good gear, 18 inch brakes, APs, uh, everything we could throw at it, we've, we've done it. It's basically, a, aside from the motor, it's basically a brand new car. What sort of power are you putting out with that at the moment? Uh, it's running a shade under about 790, 785 horsepower, so it's got plenty of mumbo. What are your plans for the rest of this season? Are you going to follow the rest of the Victorian Championship? Yes, yes, the, uh, the aim is to, to stick in and have a crack at the Championship, see how we run. Um, been good this weekend, having some great racing with Paul Panisi, he's, he's a great peddler. Um, less motor, so I've got a bit more legs on him up the straights, but he's teaching me a thing or two about going a bit deeper on the brakes into the corners, so hopefully I can learn a bit off him that way and we can go make it a bit faster. How much more development is left in the car in terms of perhaps making it lighter, uh, taking full advantage of the sports sedan regulations? Uh, look, as far as I think Dean's sort of stretched as much as we can out of it for, for that side of things. It's um, Look, in the right hands it's probably a 110 car, but um, you know, you, you get a bit older, you get a bit slower and um, you know, like I keep saying to people, it's easy to take a, if you're a, in a fast car and you get into a slow car, you can make it fast. But to go from a slow car into a fast car and make it fast, it's a bit, you know, it's just training your eyes and your body to, to actually realise that you can go through that corner that much faster or break that much deeper into a corner when I've spent 11 years in an IP car. So it takes a little bit of learning and, yeah, you know, I think this season we should, we'll obviously get a bit faster, I think, every time we go out and hopefully we can get down to a decent lap time. Well, it's great to see the car out. It's immaculately turned out, magnificent looking engine, a great looking car, and well turned out for the team as well. Great, very welcome to see you here in the Grunt Performance Victorian Sports Sedan Championship. And for now, thanks for joining us in Pit Lane. Thanks very much, Brett. Look at that, perfect. Round two of the Grunt Performance Victorian Sports Sedan Championships will be at the spectacular Phillip Island Circuit on the weekend of May 5th and 6th.